Hello and happy Monday out there to everybody. Um, I don't know why it should be a happy Monday. I hate when people say like they try to force it on you. You know, you're just sitting there minding your own business, like, oh, hey, don't be so glum. You got a case of the like. You you've seen like Office Space and stuff. Case of the Mondays. I I just I don't like when people try to force you to have fun or like when it's early in the morning and people are trying to be all cheery and stuff. Just don't. Like, if you want to be cheery, I'll let you be cheery, but like, don't, just don't try to make me, because I don't wake up until, like, 11. I go to work at, like, 4 in the morning, but I'm not awake until 11. Like, I'm full-on zombie robot mode, and, and, and that's anywhere I've ever worked. Like, if you worked around long enough, I'm just liable to stare off in the distance sometimes, and just, I don't even know where I go, you know? So anyway, uh, before I ramble on too much, I guess it's going to be a couple quick reviews. Because I posted something about reviews earlier. Well, I didn't post reviews. I think Dennis Dennis commented that I should make some YouTube reviews and that kind of thing. So I realize it's been a while since I've done a video. Um, so I'm going to start off with this. When I was at work this morning, I went on break. And then I noticed that Mary Mashup here from Mountain Dew uh, came out last year. I don't recall it, but I don't remember getting out too much last year either around this time of year. I was working quite a bit. Um... But this is, this is really good. It says it's cranberry pomegranate flavor with other natural flavors. It does not taste like Mountain Dew at all. Like, and I don't say that in a, in a bad way. Uh, I like Mountain Dew quite a bit, but this, this does not taste like Mountain Dew. For those of you like, oh, I don't like Mountain Dew. No, throw that out. Take, take Mountain Dew off and just call it Merry Mashup and, and you'll be good to go. Okay. So I can't really say it tastes like cranberry or pomegranate. I'm sure it does to some. And, and taste buds vary, obviously, but, and I'm wondering how this is going to sound too, so Polly does in advance, and I'll explain that in a minute. It's so good. It's just, it's way better than it needs to be. It, to me, like I was explaining to my friend Tanner earlier, uh, he's more like a brother, but you know how that goes. Uh, anyway, me and Tanner were kind of chatting, and I, I said to me, it kind of tastes like watermelon hubba bubba a little bit and i know i've said that before with uh unicorn rainbow from bang or rainbow unicorn i may have got it backwards i do that sometimes anyway you know what i mean um this this has more of that 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 taste to it to me like right off the bat like you're not sitting there wondering like oh where's that from like to me if i had to put that to anything that's what it would taste like but it's not like oh i'm just gonna drink bubble gum i, I you gotta try it i would highly suggest you try it it's festive, and they're doing some promotion where you can make some. Basically, you take a, a a code or you take a picture of your your item, and then you pair it up with another snack item, and they give you money somehow. You can cash out through Venmo. Anyway, one of the other reasons I want to talk about or do a video today about reviews is if you may have noticed, I've got in uh, the new Amazon Echo Buds. They are Alexa enabled, and I don't know if she's going to kick on for me just saying that or not. If so, you can disregard. Thank you. Um, that's something I have to get used to as well. These are kind of like the rivals to the, uh, Apple AirPods. And I, not that I have anything against Apple. I have, I have an iPhone that this is actually being recorded on. I love Apple products as well, but I've really, really taken to the Amazon line of, of, of home products. The Echo, Echo Show, the Dots, the Fire TV, now the Buds. I've got the Echo Auto in my car. Uh, and I, I'm a big fan. So when these dropped, uh, the, the list price on these is 129. So they're obviously a little bit less. They also come with a, uh, Bose technology as well. Not full on, but it's basically got, uh, their, their anti-noise type technology. And I just kicked the, the, uh, camera there. I'm sorry. I, I forget sometimes that I'm in this tiny little confined space, but, um, hopefully the camera will stabilize now and, and I'll quit shaking. But, uh, the, the Bose technology, I can't remember exactly what it's called. This is such a crappy review. I apologize now. But basically what it does is it cancels out noise. They, they don't call it exactly noise cancellation, but that's essentially what it is. And I was really taken aback by that. I, I, like last year when uh, the, the Bose headphones dropped that were Alexa enabled, I really had my eye on those. But the price point on those was kind of ridiculous, I thought. And, and the ones they're coming out with now are still pretty high. I'm just, I don't want to spend like 400 bucks on over-the-ear headphones. You know what I mean? Uh, so when these came out, it, it really caught my attention because I know they've already been kind of working with Bose. And as soon as I saw Bose on, on the packaging as well, that, that really, really got my attention. For 129 bucks and, and the, the, the not noise cancellation, whatever they want to call it, 
it's already worth it to me. Um, just just having these in, not even listening to music, just having that that noise cancellation type feature going on, it's fantastic. It's it it kills out so much background noise. Uh, it's that's huge to me. I, I don't like a lot of noise. I'm in such I've always been in such crazy environments where radios and and phones and this and that and computers and and now it's customers and, and music and, and things across you know I mean it's just constant chaos I think a lot of us have that but I've always been just really like when I'm away from that environment I want I want quiet I like my house quiet you know um I have like a white noise machine in my bedroom and I just I, I like that I like that kind of quietness you know and not even that white noise is quiet but I'm rambling anyway back to the review Straight out of the box, these cats fit in very, very well uh, for me. I've seen some reviews where people were complaining about it. They do come with three different size tips you can put on. And they also have these little, I don't have them on mine, but they also have these other little tips that go on top and kind of hook in a little bit and give you a little bit more support. But as you can see, I can move around pretty good. I wore these all morning at work uh, for about four hours. Well, I say all morning, but for about four hours at work. Uh, obviously I was lifting stuff. I was moving. I was going up and down, uh, bending over. I, I kind of ran it through its paces and I had no issue at all. Nothing fell out. Nothing felt awkward. Um, one thing that I do like as well that, that comes in handy and, and is the, it's got motion gestures. So on the side, you basically can tap on it and it depends on how you set stuff up. Uh, they come out of the box. You hold down the button a long time and it'll basically enable Siri or whatever your, your device is on your phone. Uh, so you can ask it a question. Uh, I could double tap it and that would turn on the, the Bose uh, or, or whatever we, there were, there were a couple different sound options, the pass throughs and things like that. You can enable, disable, you can change it to where it plays or pauses. Uh, you can do a few little things with it. It's not fully customizable, but you've got about 10 options you can do with the single tap, double tap type things on each side. And so you can basically have you know, a few different things going uh, with the earbud. They don't have to be the same settings on each ear, which I kind of like as well. Another cool thing is you can take one out and just listen to one if you want to. Um, I, I like that quite a bit as well. Uh, I've got mine set up where if I double tap it, it completely pauses the music or whatever I'm listening to. So if someone's talking, I can hear them. Um, it also turns on the pass through so I can actually hear noise as well. And when I double tap them again, it resumes my music and it turns on that noise cancellation, which is, again, a really, really cool feature. Plus, it comes with everything that we love about Alexa. I can tell her to set reminders. I can turn off my lights at home. I can do all kind of stuff with it. Uh, really, really happy with it so far. I, I still want to run it through some more paces. I haven't done it in the, in the cold extremes yet. That's coming. Right now, I'm testing the audio, see how it picks it up, see what kind of background noise. So, again, it may pick up all kind of crazy stuff. I don't even know if I'm going to upload this one. But um, if you're looking for some some decent, and I, I, I'm not a, an audiophile, okay? So when I say decent, I mean some pretty good earbuds to me. I'm very happy with these. Uh, some people have also seen complaints about needing to be louder. I don't think that's true for me because I feel with what the volume level is with the noise cancellation, it works pretty damn good for me. Uh, another cool thing that I've noticed, like I said, I've, I'm kind of an Amazon junkie. Um, for me, if I'm listening to music, when I, I'm like today, I was walking out for lunch. I had the music going and I had them in my, my Echo Buds. When I got in the car, the Echo Auto automatically picked it up. So it was really cool that the music, the music was seamless going from the store into my car and then driving off. I didn't have to fumble with anything, do any of that kind of stuff. So that was really, really cool. Uh, the Echo Auto too, I won't do a review on that, but I'm really, really loving that. I, I got one of those early releases on it. Um, and I, I, I love it. It's fantastic for me, but I know it's not for everybody. But I, I love how it hands it off. The only complaint on that part is on the back end when I get out of the car. Once I turn the car off, it senses, hey, you're disconnected. So it doesn't transfer them back to the Echo Bud. So then you do have to resume the music, but that's not a huge deal. Another issue I found, I had a back massager going earlier. And I noticed when the cable got a little bit close to it, within about an inch or two, these are not shielded very well. So as it got close while that power was going, and it was an active power source, it, it was it was turned on. When I tried it again while it was off, didn't have the issue. But while it was on, um, I guess it was producing enough electromagnetic magnetic field that it was starting to crackle a little bit. And so I started playing with it just a little bit because I'll send these bitches back if they break. Um, it, when I got real close to it, it completely cut out. 
once I pulled it away, it resumed just fine. There wasn't any issue. I haven't noticed any, any difficulty since then, no latency, any weird stuff like that. But it, it's just something to think about. Um, they're also sweat resistant. I know that's an important factor for some people. So that's something to consider as well. I know the, the uh, AirPods, I think they're called, are not. Um, so anyway, yeah, I'm going to quit rambling now. I, I really like these so far. Like I said, it's, it's 24 hours with them. I, I may learn to dislike them. I just turned the pass-through on by touching it, and now it sounds really weird because I had the... When when you see the difference between the the noise cancellation and the pass-through being on, it's really, really weird. Like, that really highlights its abilities. I don't know if that audio will pick up or not, too, but I guess we'll kind of see... But uh, yeah, so uh, until next time, this is Panda Reviews. I probably rambled on way too much, but go get that fantastic Merry Mashup Mountain Dew Holiday Limited Edition. I don't make a penny off of it if you like it. Uh, as for these guys, I will leave a link down in the description if I do upload this. And uh, click on that because I am an Amazon affiliate. So whenever you see a link from me, please click it if you're going to buy something. Even if you're just going to buy something later on on Amazon, click on one of my links and I get a little percentage, just a tiny little bit. It's like a couple pennies or something. But every little bit helps and that makes me want to do videos a little bit more when I make a little bit of money. So I'm just saying.